Three, Three two, two, one, start. Stop. While this guy is beavering away, let me tell you how many sick notes I have done using this method over the last year or so. And that is before Accurix introduced this new super easy way to do sick notes. Let's just wait for the old smug mic to finish off here. Stop. Well, the answer is 668. I have single-handedly saved 668 pieces of paper, which kind of sounds like a lot to me. Multiply that by the amount of full-time GPs at our practice, which is four. And as a practice, we have saved probably over 2,500. Luckily now, we can do electronic sick notes even faster. So let me talk you through it. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Mike, a GP working in Manchester, UK, and welcome to Super Fast Sick Notes 2.0. Now I've talked about sick notes before in the original video and a video on how to reduce your carbon footprint as a clinician. And although our patients were a little bit reluctant and would default to asking for paper versions instead, we have persisted and pretty much never get any paper requests anymore. Although a lot of my videos are aimed towards GP specifically, you must share this with other staff because of the following. And they actually might hate you for telling them this. From the 1st of July 2022, legislative change has enabled a wider range of healthcare professionals to certify fit notes. The healthcare professionals who can now certify fit notes in addition to doctors are nurses, occupational therapists, pharmacists, and physiotherapists. Here's the step-by-step. -step. Let's say you get a task and it says you're a sick note for two weeks, same issue. Pretty straightforward. Go into your consultation, add consultation, and then choose the problem for which you want to do a sick note. In this case, let's choose appendicectomy. Although realistically, the surgeon should be doing the sick note. He would probably bounce back. Please tell surgeon to do his own sick note. I am not his foundation doctor. Uh, go up to add fit note, not for work. Change this to two weeks. And then instead of doing that weird print preview thing that took ages, just go to save to record. And your sick note is done. All you have to do now is go into Accurix, choose the sick note template, and if you don't remember how to create templates in Accurix, have a look at this video here, and I'll show you the exact time that you need to go to in that video. At this point, attach file and file from Emis Web. And you can choose the sick note that you just created, attach, and then send now. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. You're sorted. Now, if you want to see what the sick note looks like, you can double click in the document. And as you can see, the issuer's name it's already pre-filled, so you don't even have to sign this one. Now, before we finish off here, some people have suggested that sick notes need to be signed with a pen, but that is honestly no longer true. So the guidance used to read, and this was point number seven, sign the fit note using ink, but, and this is where the quote starts, in April 2022, a new version of fit note was introduced to replace the 2017 version, and this replaced the signature in ink with the name and profession of the issuer. IT systems in primary care will auto-populate this information, and this change will mean the fit notes captures the name of the doctor issuing the form in in place of it being signed in ink. Fit notes can still be printed and the issuer's name completed by hand if necessary, but they really shouldn't because that is just an absolute waste of time that could be better spent watching GP on the move videos and liking and subscribing because Mike is generally a really nice and helpful guy. End quote. Finally, here's the last quote. Most fit notes are produced through GP IT systems, but they can be handwritten, system generated and printed, or system generated and sent digitally. System generated fit notes have the added benefit of, and they go on to list a lot of benefits, which you can read clicking on the link in the description below, which my favorite is point number two, automatically including the name of the healthcare professional completing the fit note to authorize it, removing the need to print and sign the fit note in ink. Now, I think I've pretty much labored the point to death by now. Right, that's it guys. I hope that was informative, regardless of how eco-friendly you are or not. This is so fast that there's no reason not to switch. And if you do have any issues, leave me a comment below and feel free to email me directly. Otherwise, good luck.